My name is Lawrence Weinberg. I'm an Associate Professor at Austin Hospital in Melbourne, Australia, working in the Department of Surgery and the Department of Anesthesia. To study the effects of intravenous paracetamol is a very important question. Previous studies have actually suggested that intravenous paracetamol has been associated with low blood pressure, particularly in patients that are critically ill and patients in the intensive care setting. However, many, many of these studies are retrospective in design, very small um, samples and have quite limited methodological uh, flaws. Therefore, we decided to conduct a randomized blinded study in healthy volunteers specifically evaluating whether intravenous paracetamol causes a reduction in blood pressure in this specific setting. So we, uh, with informed ethics consent, we recruited 24 healthy volunteers and we conducted a triple crossover study. We studied the effects of intravenous paracetamol itself one of the excipients of paracetamol, which is mannitol, 4.2 gram or 3.9 grams, as well as a control group that received saline. Therefore, each participant received either intravenous paracetamol or mannitol or saline control. Our hypothesis was that intravenous paracetamol would cause a reduction in blood pressure. And in order to study the question, we used Edward Life Sciences' non-invasive technology to measure continuous blood pressure and hemodynamic variables. What we found was very interesting, and certainly the first study to my knowledge to report these findings. We found that during the paracetamol infusion, paracetamol was associated with a very small, transient but significant reduction in blood pressure, which was not observed in the groups receiving mannitol or receiving saline. This confirmed our hypothesis that intravenous paracetamol certainly may be associated with a small transient reduction in blood pressure, but most importantly we also observed that the mechanism of this fall in blood pressure was not due to a reduction in cardiac index, which was previously proposed, rather this was due to a reduction in systemic vascular resistance thereby again supporting the hypothesis that paracetamol intravenously may cause some form of vasodilatation causing a very transient but small drop in blood pressure. So the clinical implications of intravenous paracetamol are of course very important and I think there are, certain, uh, there are clinical implications um, of our study. These are threefold. Firstly, intravenous paracetamol in healthy volunteers caused a small reduction in blood pressure. Clinically, patients that have impaired cardiac function or patients that are critically ill, uh, particularly with impaired myocardial performance, these effects may be much more pronounced. The clinical consequences of this may be that we should be aware that paracetamol may have these adverse effects. And we should be using intravenous paracetamol in the critical care context appropriately.